Hello, Hello and floss, floss tube. tube. We're the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Chelsea. Lighting <laughs> is Petunia. Terrible this is today. Piper. It's gloomy out, so we have fake lights on. So it's I look washed out. <laughs> At 5.30, a couple mornings ago, I get this text from Chelsea that one of you said <laughs> that there was a mouse running behind her head in the cabinet. I, like, freaked out. I looked at the video and it was it right like when, it. I, when I woke up. It was more like a Disney cartoon mouse because it just went like this. But if it happens today, we'll know. It's not going <laughs> to happen today. There's a mirror behind here and Chelsea's husband had walked over there and I think that his reflection got caught up in the mirror and that that was what you saw. I even held the cat up there. I looked through the whole cabinet like to see if there was any droppings. Yes. <laughs> There was nothing. It's all good. No mice in the cabinet. No mice in the pantry. Ah, <laughs> uh, what did we do this week? Cash started school. That was good. He's been going all day. He's been doing fine. He says it's fun. So hopefully that keeps his interest for a couple weeks before he starts hating it. Yes, they do get rest time during it, and I was worried about that because Cash has never taken a nap since the moment he was born. He just goes, goes, goes. <laughs> um, but I guess he sits there nice, and they can watch a little show or whatever. Um, he also started soccer. That was two nights ago, so that was like watching cats being herded across. The f Nobody knows what they're doing. They're all just like colliding with each other. What else? What else did you do? Oh, we also went we went camping over Labor Day weekend. Um, we went up to the Dells, so that was a lot of fun for the last hurrah. I just um, I did a lot out in my garden. I had the older grandsons, so they helped me, and we did things with them. And then I on Monday I went and got my mums for the season. I think I need a couple more, but we're hoping to do a garden tour for in after we get all the pumpkins but that won't be until after september and after we go pumpkin picking we were not doing one now <laughs> Stop the video. okay so garden video pumpkins are soon mm -hmm. when are they like the 20th the 20th and i leave the next day to go to crime con i'm very excited for it because of all the murder hoopla because they're going to be there the prosecutors and the defense so with their band playing. Mm -hmm. Kate and Water's band plays the first night. It's very exciting. There's a disco theme. She got a shirt. Mm -hmm. Costume. It's not a costume. <laughs> <laughs> um, lots of good questions last week. I'm going to filter in questions from that throughout these next coming weeks as well as upcoming questions from mm -hmm. the upcoming videos, etc. We're not going to go through all the questions today, obviously. Um, yeah, so, there's a lot. <laughs> uh, it's fall fall season what is your favorite starbucks drink in the fall i still just get my iced chai latte what did destiny make the other day she gets the iced chai latte with the pumpkin cold foam on top and she learned how to make it at home so she's making her own at home <laughs> the cold the pumpkin cold foam yes uh all right what are your upcoming plans for new cross stitch series perhaps something to do with a beach theme i don't know that we would do a whole series of a beach theme but what's coming in the next month or so is lots of Christmas. Yep, Christmas. We do have plans. I don't know if it's going to be either our winter season or St. Patrick's season, whichever. We're going to mm -hmm. switch that out. We're not going to do the season for that. We have yeah, uh, other plans a theme that you guys for that. Love. Yes. yes. Yes, and it was in the questions a lot, so maybe you could get that kind of, but it, we have a, a certain theme for that period of time. Mhm. Mm uh, okay, where did you get your love of animals and how many dogs have you had? Me? And what was your first dog is the question. It, it's all of it. Yeah, oh, my both. goodness. Well, like when I was a kid, I don't even remember what my first dog would have been. I know we had an old lab, black lab. His name was Blackie. We had two Shih Tzus, Ashley and Scarlett, and mm -hmm. they're blind and they'd fall off the back of the couch. Or only one mm -hmm. was blind? Both of them were blind? Uh, Ashley only had one eye. One eye. Mm -hmm. That dog from next door bit him in the face and it wrecked his eye. I didn't know that. Yeah, so it was oh. sewed shut. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we also had a yeah. Shiba Inu, which was Regis. Mom really liked Regis and Kathy. Um, 
that one. Kathy Lee, yeah. Yeah, Kathy Lee. <laughs> that was a fast, fast runner. We we have a lake across the street and it run across the street. His life came to a tragic end, though, because we had roofers roofing the house and they left the gate open and he got out and he got hit by a car. So yep. he was only nine months old. And then we I got... Know. he was that young. Oh, don't we do that got to her. the... A Wheaton Terrier. Yep. That was Riley. Riley. And he lived a long time. Yep. And, and then, he was a really good dog, except for he was a runner, too. <laughs> then we had Reagan and Ronnie, which mm -hmm. you guys have all been a part of if you've been mm -hmm. watching us. Ronnie was still. And then Piper yep. came because her owner was going to a nursing home, so she came to live here. And then Presley, Presley and, and then Petunia. Petunia. Lots of questions about Petunia. Petunia is not going to be the same size as Presley. She's mm -hmm. a mini Golden Doodle. So she's still a Golden Doodle, but she's mini. She'll be 20 pounds. Yes. And the reason why I did that was because Presley just loves those corgis. And she, like, lives to be with them. And she's so much better when she's around. Piper doesn't want to play with her. This Piper dog... doesn't play. Piper, her legs, she was put in a kennel when she was really young for a long period of time. And I think it wrecked the muscles in her legs, her back legs turn in. Yeah, so she, she can't like, like a play. cockroach. <laughs> yeah, she's scattled. She can't play. And she and, doesn't care to play. She's a chihuahua. And she's, she's got not, that attitude. <laughs> she's not. But these two dogs, they lay together. Presley, I had to give her a bath and Presley's trying to get between me and the water <laughs> because she doesn't want her to get wet. And she's Presley's dog, not mine. Yes. <laughs> Hunter and Destiny are the ones with the three corgis. Hey. I, um, my Lena first Hunter. dog was Layla and then I got Daisy and Liberty and, um, now we just have Liberty. Mm -hmm. That was, that was, it's been a hard year. I tried to get Chelsea to get one of these cause there was brothers left, but she didn't want one. She's not ready. No. Yep. I, no, I'm not. And Liberty is really, Liberty's a super good dog. We can take her camping with us. It's a lot easier right now in my season for one dog and you can tell that she likes the attention that she's getting and I, I just want to keep that for right now. Um, somebody also asked how many farm animals I have. I have 40 chickens, two ducks, I have four turkeys. Um, they want to know about the cats and I can't even get into it. There, there's like a, a zillion cats. We have to do something about the cat population. We're obviously going to be responsible for the four kittens that we brought in to getting them neutered or spayed, whatever we need to do. And also the cat that came with the house is Rupert. That one I believe is taking, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, but I believe they took care of I spaying you you and neutering. I think it's a girl, but we gave it a boy name. Because we didn't know. Um, do you look at that window? Do you see the pumpkin? Vine? Yes, the pumpkin vine is like growing <laughs> like up the window. Jumanji out there. A pumpkin grew on its own, and it's like up the first window in the living room. Yeah, uh, we are keeping two of the cats. I don't know if they'll be indoor, <laughs> outdoor. The other cat, the other kittens. We have. We have a huge garage that's detached and we have a big barn in the back. So I can use them as barn cats to control the mice population in my big barn. We have a boat that that would be helpful to make sure that they're not eating the wires. So they will have a home. It's can just, one of them live up in there? It, it's <laughs> like so much. Cash is so attached to all of it. And there are so many freaking cats. And then yesterday we turned around and the neighbor's two cats are back. And I like just went in. I'm like, I give up. I give up. I give up. I give up. Um, okay. Well, doesn't want to live up no, they, they just want to live inside the house. Even the neighbor's cats want to live inside the house. And I'm like, no, we can't do it. Um, all right. Another great video. I've always wondered, would you consider making football themed cross stitches for the season? I've thought about it. Yes. So maybe one fall we'll do like the fall roundabouts for football. Yeah. That would be really fun. You skipped number seven. I know that was mom's fault. Uh, what is your favorite <laughs> meal to cook? Didn't say to eat. It said to cook. <laughs> no. Yeah. And people want to know how many family meals, how many meals do you make each week? How many meals do you try to make each week? Me? I'm, I'm, I'm like a zero. <laughs> I did make chicken broccoli casserole this week. That recipe's on my blog. It's really good. People want the enchilada recipe. Okay. Um, and I ate, you know, my little square out of it, and I made the whole pan. Well, it's one... gone. Yeah. I'm just looking forward to some. <laughs>
I kept two servings and I ate lunch and dinner. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Um, that's a good the rest. You could possibly go to this yeah. house and eat. <laughs> that one's a good one to make. It's, it's, um, there's different versions of broccoli chicken casserole out there. This is more like a chicken divan is what people call it, I mm -hmm. think. So um, I, I, I would have to probably say lasagna is my favorite because everybody loves it. And you get a lot of satisfaction out of that. That's hard. That sounds lasagna. like a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like Yeah, with the homemade sauce that cooks all day. Zucchini. I don't use the yard sauce for that one. Oh, yeah, zucchini lasagna is really good. When you look back on your time as a designer, which design are you most proud of? I think that the home is where the wreath is and the wreath swaps. I, I love that concept, and I every time I look at it in my kitchen, it just makes me happy. And especially when I see all of you posting pictures of your things, and there it is hanging in your house, it's... It's just like a staple now. Yeah. Mine is farmhouse. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. What are your favorite crime shows or podcasts? All right, let's get into it. So I don't even, like, we got this list of people that we can meet, and I didn't even know, like, 90% of them. Yeah, but you would. I mean. I don't think I would. But what YouTube? Okay, what YouTubers do you watch? That could be considered a podcast too. What YouTubers do you I watch? I watch the lawyer you know, and I watch sometimes Emily. What's her name? I don't know. She Emily Baker. Yeah, Baker. Emily Baker. She, she used to be a prosecutor, and now she does YouTube. She uses foul language. Yes, yeah, she uses morning. foul language, and sometimes she doesn't talk about things. Like I listened to her yesterday because she was talking about their murder, like retrial. Hmm. If y'all don't know about that, good grief! They're trying to get a retrial because of the court. Clerk. Yeah, the clerk of the court, Becky Hill. She Becky. She did a lot of bad things. She needs a spanking <laughs> if it's true. <laughs> Yeah, but then I, I think about it and I'm like, how could she possibly have been that stupid? Could like, you? To, I don't know. Go, could you, you be in there all, and not talk about it? I'd want to talk about it. Like to take the, the head of the jury into a bathroom like mine with one toilet. How do you both go in there? I, I don't know. If you're not doing anything wrong. One's peeing, one's washing their hands. Um, Do you want to be in the bathroom with me? I don't think no. so. No. So, I listen to cereal. Unless those people are lying. And I think of that too. I think maybe Murda has found his way to get in there and maybe these people have been paid off. And she was supposed to be a crime fan. Kimberly said she was supposed to be there because of her book. Oh. Now she's not. <laughs> well, um, also, those documentaries were really good. There was an HBO documentary and there was a Netflix documentary. They're also doing a second season of the Netflix version for Murda. That was like the biggest one that mom started following. Mm -hmm. um, but Serial is a good one. Um, yeah, I do watch that Annie. I think her name is Annie Elise and she has another one called Seriously. I watch that sometimes when she's got some of the stuff I find hard to watch, especially if it's like gory or like Abuse. women getting killed at night or kids getting Oh, yeah. No. Like, I don't want to watch anything about that lady that just got arrested, that YouTube vlogger that has the... Oh, the six kids? Eight. It, oh, is it six kids? But it's eight something eight? Maybe is that it's... because of her and her husband? But her husband left her or something and she, yeah, she that, had the kids duct tried... taped. And... Yeah. Well, like, there was a lots of times I wanted to do that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> she withheld food. She, she is... Her and her business partner are being held because of it was really bad mm -hmm. really bad but i i don't want to listen to that um <coughs> sorry when do you stitch generally and do you get early in the morning late at night when do you do it so i start stitching as soon as i get up in the morning unless i gotta look through the china cabinet for a mouse <laughs> <laughs> and then i'll go out and i'll water i try to water now i can't water like right at six o'clock because it's still really dark so i have to wait till like six fifteen. I didn't do it today because I didn't know how it was going to be out there. But <clears throat> anyway, then I come back in, I take my shower and do whatever I got to do around the house. And then I, I'm back to stitching or designing whatever has to be done. Yep. Chelsea, when do you generally <clears throat> stitch whenever I can? Now Cash is in school for a majority of the day, so I can stitch all day. Um, but now school day has started, so I get up and I get his lunch and everything ready and get myself ready for the day. And then when he get when I after I drop him off. Um, okay. 
how do you do it all that that is everybody's question is like how are you how is your day organized that you can do it all are there things that you put on a list for a different day? what how do you do it all yeah my house is a mess <laughs> um <clears throat> i just try to do as much as i can and like last night i was mowing the lawn and it was getting dark as i was mowing the lawn so you just have to but i didn't want to mow it when it was like almost 100 degrees because it our, we have not had rain for, I don't know how long. It did rain two times this week, but it's not even, like, the dirt isn't even wet. Is yours? No. What has been the most riveting true crime case you followed? Myrtle? Well, that's probably the only one that I've, like... I mean, we're I still do... on John Bonet. We, we watched OJ. Yeah, I watched I mean, all that. That was all way before all of true crime became like the thing to do but mm -hmm. but those were riveting cases and those you right. followed i mean and i like that one podcast or it wasn't a podcast it was on hulu right betrayed yeah yep uh betrayal betrayal that was good okay those are the questions i, I have for this week i wish there was something like ozark again i i really like that we <laughs> never matt and i never finished the final season we're still we're on, oh, people want to know what we're watching on TV. Right now I'm watching Suits Seasons. What are no, you watching? Nothing. Oh, and I'm watching like 90 Day Fiance and The Other Way and all that. I watched The O.C. Junk. And Salt Lake City just started, but I didn't watch it. I don't, I don't think about it. I, I watch The Veggie Boys. I just listen to them pick peppers all day. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Can't wait till they start picking pumpkins this year. I'm going to be like, ah! <laughs> All right. This week in the Etsy shop, what did we release? <clears throat> I don't remember. Candy corn. This is candy corn. It's the roundabout. So we've switched from sunflowers to Halloween. Mm -hmm. This is done on a candy corn stand from paisleys and polka dots.com. Chelsea's checks in orange and black. You have that vintage trim in the orange color. That's our ribbon. And then Chelsea's checks up at the cover button too. Her stuff comes unpainted, unfinished, but she gives you good instructions on how to do it. Mm -hmm. This is a lot of glue right here. Okay. All right, next, what did we do? Oh, we're on the strippers. First up was The Witch. That was last Friday. And then this Friday is The Pumpkinhead. So she's holding her flowers. She's got her little banner up top. She is cute. Ready mm -hmm. to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can't wait to put up the Halloween tree. Oh, and I shipped um, charts. Yes. I shipped charts on to Wednesday. Wednesday. So candy corn, the November monthly weigh-in, and the Halloween adorables all went out. Tuesday we went to Texas Roadhouse. Yeah. <laughs> we met at a gas station after school and of course Matt said where are we gonna go eat? So we went to Texas Roadhouse. All right these are some previous finishes. This is a Dapper Doodad Farm Fresh Pumpkins. No pumpkin pie. This is pumpkin pie. And then I just found that rolling pin at um, oh Hobby Lobby. But at, where is that? Is that from Hobby Lobby too, or Menards? Oh, it's a yeah, 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 yeah. <coughs> yeah Menards <coughs> square block. Oh, so this one is from Menards too. Yep, that's the apple orchard, and that's another rolling pin from Hobby Lobby. This is Foxy Fall or something, right? Mm-hmm. Super cute. Um, with that, with this guy, somebody did it on like a tea coffee dye, and it looked so good. They mm -hmm. changed the colors up a little bit, but it looked so vintage and really, really cute. Mm -hmm. Loved it. This is Calvin and Clyde. Mm-hmm. And that was a truck from Hobby Lobby, and I think that they still have them. Good God. This is like four years old, isn't it? It was from our first mm -hmm. era. And then apple picking, and this is on a box from uh, Michael's. And this was last year, so I don't know if they still have them, but it's just another way to finish things. And then you can fill the box with all your little cute things. A lot of you were looking for apple designs, so there was two. Apple picking and apple orchard. I think we have more than that, don't we? Yeah, we yeah. do, but I'm just saying. Apple pie. 
And I think that there and was then one the more. the um the city scarecrow festival. Do we want to two show of them. all of this? Yeah, that's fine. A lot of you have stitched and finished October. Yep. You're like whipping through them. We are so excited to see all of them. And thank you for all the excitement about it. So this is December. It's really cute. My whips this week were the two things here. And then I finished the winter. Stop eating that. Thank you. Stitching seasons. Stitching seasons. So that it, I'm all caught up there. And now I have to start the retreat piece. We're getting excited for that. We finished up some finishing mm -hmm. details. Stop doing mm -hmm. that, ma'am. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So these giveaways, if they have gnaw marks in them, <laughs> they're <It's> my burdens. <laughs> All right. What else did we have? You're getting a little big for the basket here. That's it? Yeah. Okay. All right. So we had giveaways last week. Is it that all we do? I was trying to think if I got anything that we were going to show. Did you show that the freebies finishes? Do you have any haul? No. There's 700 bamboo skeins. Um, okay, we had, <laughs> last week we had giveaways. How ridiculous is that? This is Sunflower Ride, and it comes with a bonus chart, Sunflower Home. That goes to Catherine Bruton, 9065, Leanne Isaacson, 8058, and Heather Lynn Photography, 9382. Then we had the witch, the stripper witch. <laughs> This goes to Corey Tibbs, Nita P77, and Tanya Carmen 8670. I want to say something before you go on in relation to the strippers. Okay. Okay. So on my Facebook page, my Priscilla's Facebook page, if you follow me on there, um, there's some people like posting pictures of themselves not fully clothed. So it has nothing to do with the strippers, but it made me think of it. There's... It's not me it, or mom naked. It's other women. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know why all of a sudden my page has become so popular for this type of a thing. But I'm really sorry about it. If they comment on your comments or whatever, I'm blocking them as fast as I can. Like a hundred a day. So not all naked, but just a hundred irritants a day. Okay, fall home. These are all PDFs, by the way, so you just have to tell me what you want, your email, your YouTube name, and where I can send it to. Shelly Hamblin, So Mina, 918, and Teacher and Quilty Stitcher 1. Then we have the Pumpkin Seeds Tear Tray Tidbit, ma'am. This goes <laughs> to Raylene P., Melissa Therese, 7152, and two teddy bears. Hmm. Hello, it? Fall Cup. I had it right. Yeah. I literally had it. Oh, right here. Hello, Fall Cup. This cute fox. This uh, fox has been extremely popular. Uh, the Crafty Fish Room 7804, Nancy Ronaldson 2732, Janie Walton 4971. <laughs> Let's go ride a bike through the pumpkin patch. Copper's Wife 1, Sunny Beams 530, Queen Bee 1957. Mom celebrated her anniversary of her queenship over the weekend, too. Uh, adorables. <laughs> adorables Halloween. This will be a physical chart, so you'll need to give me a physical address. Tell me your YouTube name. Tell me what you want. H82 Reed, Barb Roper 4483, and Allison Colden 9616. Monthly weigh in November. This is a physical chart, so you'll have to give me a physical address, yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. Seinfeld reference for those brought up in the 90s. Um, Claudia Blaylock 1970, Sherry Stump 857, CF Hazel. Kitty Candy Corn. Um, this one's become really popular. Uh, I think it would look good on tea dyed. You can't even see it, right? Because the leaves are in the way. No, you can see it. Okay. Tea coffee dyed too. You know, I love tea coffee dyed. Brad Carter, 4914, Nesting Seams Quilting Co. and Tamara Kemp, 5738. Then, Krug. Hmm? All the random stuff in this room. 
Is it up there? Because this is the new pile. Okay, we found it. Um, the Ghostly Welcome, it's a kit. It goes to Cheryl Pucky. Then the Sew by Roll kit, fabric and floss. This goes to Rose Castro 720. And then we had the two vintage cloths and that goes to Don, Don, Don Jones 7120. Putting it in my bag so I can take it home. All right, then we have giveaways for, oh, and then we had um, tier tray tidbits, tidbit today. So you will win Stop. a uh, $20 gift card to our Etsy shop. You just email me what charts you want from our Etsy shop. Um, the winners for that are Christine Gabber Ousley, Lindsay Valley Zachman, and Kelly Roberts. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you for participating, everybody. It's random drawing. Um, thank you. It also helps you get yours up and decorated. So. And this week in the Stitching with Housewives group is mm -hmm. our Housewives Hurrah. So we want to see some Housewives merch, shirts, bags. No sneezing. We're doing a video. Keychain. Any of our merch. Yeti. Yeah. Apron. Oh, yes. Where's my Yeti? Um, with your face and with some of the Stitching with Housewives stitching either a completed project or a whip. A whip. Yeah. Okay. And then t hashtag it Housewives Hurrah. This week, the giveaways. Number one is three opportunities to win the candy corn. Number two, three opportunities to win pumpkin head. Number three, we have um, from the fabric of the month club that we showed you last week. Number three is the two opportunities to win natural brown Ada. Number four is the natural brown linen. That's number four. I think that's a really pretty color. Number five is a bundle of fabric. It's latte, white, and white chocolate. And it's just one winner. It's going to be a bundle. That's number five. These are also from Fat Quarter Shop. Um, all eight of them. Number five. Number six was the fine floss from last week. Two opportunities to win that. So still floss. Yes. And number seven is the floss frenzy. So Weeks Dye Works. Two opportunities. Number seven. Number eight. These are from viewers. Uh, two Blackbird designs. So, Loose Feather Summer and Yellow Submarine. Number eight. Number nine, you are going to get one of Fat Quarter Shop's cross-stitch keys and a bundle of fabric to get your stash. And that's like a measurement to show you how to start your project. Yep. Nine. When do we hit that? That it's moved. Like the whole thing is moving. <laughs> <laughs> Number 10 is a bundle of Christmas charts. You're going to have this one, this one. And some of these come with fabric. They come with the beads. It's a good deal. That was 11? I think so, yeah. Okay, now number 12 from our stash. Should we do him? We have... Apple picking, three opportunities. And him, the scarecrow behind you in the truck. Number 13. And then one more, number 14 will be the pumpkin pie. All right. Uh, question you're gonna answer, uh, what themes are you looking for? in stitching you know that you want more of from us that you haven't seen from us what mm -hmm. are you interested in stitching we want to know mm -hmm. we've got some themes picked out so it won't be immediate but yes <laughs> we'd like to incorporate some of your ideas as well um so you're going to answer the question what you're interested in winning with the numbers if i mess up the numbers just go with the number that i said to the specific thing because mm -hmm. i i rewatch the video at the end to get the numbers um and don't say giveaway, be a subscriber, like the video, answer the question. That was a question in the questions yet 
last week, how do you enter a giveaway? That's how you enter. So just how you put that question in is the same thing. You're going to answer the question mm -hmm. I just asked. List out the numbers you're interested in. Um, and also, you have until Friday to mm -hmm. um, enter. We pick the winners on Friday before the video on Saturday. Okay. I'm expecting some very exciting company this week, so I can't wait to tell you about that. And I'm trying to get my house in order. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> 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 All right, so look for a garden tour. Look for maybe a fall tour yes. coming up soon. Yes, I'm hoping I get that all finished up. It's, I have a lot of it started, but I didn't finish, so I have to finish up, and then we can do that. Also, um, I wanted to ask, I had a question actually for this week too, but if you want to answer this too, what would you look for more after the Halloween roundabouts? Would you like some fall Thanksgiving ones or do you want to go straight into Christmas? Okay, so you can answer both questions. Yep. We want to know what you want. Yep. Uh, we know what we want, but we are going to know what you want. <laughs> love those turkeys. Yeah, I, I do have four of them. Oh, oh. Oh, for love. Okay, if you get your... <laughs> if you get your finishing inspiration from us, tag us, tag my blog. We'd love to see your projects. And also follow us on Instagram at Priscilla Blaine at Chelsea356, Priscilla's2000 on Facebook, and Priscilla's2000.blogspot.com. And I also did see a post in our group about if you're um, canning your yard sauce. So we we oh. never recommend canning it at all because there's, we don't know how to can it. There's things that you have to do that we have no clue about. So we freeze ours all the time, and we've been doing it. Like I've used yard sauce from the freezer that was two years old and it was still just as good as it was the first day. So if you're a canning, make sure you're following your tested, try yeah. what, whatever. We don't, we don't want anybody getting sick because we talk about yard sauce because we only freeze. We only freeze. So if you want to can it, you need to do it the right way. And we don't know how to do that. So, yeah. Okay. If you get your finishing inspiration from a stag, I stag my blog. We'd love to hear it. <laughs> What's the other part? You had already said that I was just kidding. We'd love to see your projects. <laughs> anyway, so that's it. And we hope you have a great weekend. I got football games to go to this weekend. I might go to that... Um, Farm Girl? Mm -hmm. But it's not called that anymore. Urban, Urban Market. I might go to that in between football games and... That's in Rockford-ish. Right, Pecatonica, isn't it? Or no, not Pe Belvedere. 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 Yeah. I used to do a craft show there in that fairgrounds many, many years ago. It was always a really good craft show. They still have it. Paul oh. Diddley. Oh, October. Paul Diddley. Yeah. The same time as Schomburg's? No, Schomburg's no, was Labor Day. Yeah, it's the same time as that Galena. Okay. All right, we appreciate you spending your time with us. We'll see you next week. Bye.